Hey guys, it's James here at Seton. I just wanted to show you a little demo here of our new two-way authentication between the Seton Companion services running on your HTPC and the Seton Companion app running on your mobile devices. So here on the left we have a Windows Phone emulator and on the right we have the Companion services uh, up and running. So you can see I have my PC uh, configured here. I can go in, uh, browse all my recorded TV, premieres, movies, uh, whatever I want which is great. Um, now we've added a new feature which you'll find in any of the apps versioned 1.2.1 or above on iOS, Android, and Windows Phone 7 um, and also in the companion services as well. So what you'll want to do and I'll first show it here is if you long press on Windows Phone you'll see the edit option and on the bottom, or if you're entering a new device, you have password, which is optional from the companion config. So you want to enter that. But let's first go ahead and demo it once you enable it on your services. So we'll go ahead and click on advanced setting and then on other. And under here, you'll see password. So I'll enable the two-way authentication. So go ahead and enable it. And we'll just go ahead and enter a uh, new key. And we'll go ahead and save that. So now what will happen over on Windows Phone is when I go ahead and select this, I won't be able to connect at all, no matter what. And if I was already inside the app, I would get no new data as well. So no matter what, I cannot access this from the app. So now let me go ahead and long press again, and I'll click Edit. Now I'll go down to the bottom and I'll go ahead and type new key. So my passwords go ahead and match. So now I can go ahead and select it. And as you can see, I'm loading up data. I'm in the app. I'm browsing my recorded TV, everything as expected. Uh, now, if I was over in Android, pull us up here, the emulator, it's basically exactly the same. You long press, and you'll see Manage Security Password uh, to fit onto the screen better. And if you're on iOS, it'll be exactly the same as editing the device settings today, which is uh, with the little blue indicator on the device. So we hope you enjoy this new feature of two-way authentication between your services and your apps. Thanks again.